Hi guys, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing question 3 on homework day 22. And so question 3 says, comp compute each product below either by using place value estimation or by converting to fractions. So some people don't know what compute means, so compute pretty much means to solve or calculate, so that's just solve. And then... So what I'm going to be doing today is showing you guys how to do a model using conver by converting them to fractions. Okay, so let's just start with A. So I'm just going to draw a box. Miss Hills actually taught us this last year. And then I'm just going to split up into four parts for this one. Um, and so we know that 2.7 is 2 and 7 tenths. So I'm converting this into a fraction, uh, a mixed number. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the next number. And then 3 and 2 tenths. And I know you can simplify 2 tenths, but for this model, we don't really want to do that. Okay, so now this model pretty much timesing each of multiplying each of these into their box. So two times three equals six. Three times seven tenths equals twenty one tenths. Because there are three groups of seven tenths, so it's twenty one tenths. It's not just twenty one. It's twenty one tenths. Okay, and then two times two tenths, that's four tenths, because there's two groups of two tenths, so that's four tenths. And now this one, this last one's a little bit tricky, because um, seven, because what you really want to do is just put 14 tenths, but you can't do that, because you're um, multiplying the 10, this, this part too. Sorry, I know it's a little messy, but. So, since it's both has tenths, then this has to be the numerator, or the denominator, sorry, has to be hundredths. It's kind of confusing at first, but after you practice it a little bit, it becomes clear. Okay, then 7 times 2 is 14. So you're pretty much just multiplying the numerator and denominator for this one. Okay, so now that we have this, all of our things, we're going to, what we're going to do is turn these back into whole numbers, or back into regular um, decimals. So that will go to 2.1. And then this one will go to 0 0.4. And then this one will go to 0 0.14 or 14 hundredths, however you like to say it. Now what we're going to do to get the total, um, the total answer, the, the total, the answer, is we're going to add all of these up. Going to add this one, this one, this one, and that one. So 6 plus 2.1 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.14. And that equals 8.64. 6 plus 2.1 is 8, 8.1. Plus 0 0.4 is 8.5, and then plus 0 0.1, 14 tenths, er, 14 hundredths, sorry, is 18.64. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go over to B and do this one. Now this one's a little bit difficult because, well, there's two ways of doing it. You can either make it into two spots again, like that, and then 
for this part, just have 14 hundredths. Or what you could do is you can make a third spot for that one. Okay, so I'm just going to do three for now because I find that personally easier. Okay, so one, one tenth, because we're going back to converting it to fractions. And then four hundredths. Okay? And then down here, six, and then one tenth. Okay. So just multiply it. Six. And then this is one tenth again, because it's one group of, of a tenth. And then this is six tenths, right? Because it's six groups of a tenth, of one tenth. Six tenths. And then now when we multiply these two, again, it's going to be one hundredth. Oops, okay, sorry. Because of ten times ten equals a hundred. And so you... And then 1 times 1 equals 1. And then this is, yeah. So now that we go on to this one, 6 times 4 equals 24 hundredths. Because 4, or 6 groups of 4 hundredths is 24 hundredths. And now when we come down to this final one, these two, we're going to, um, what we're going to do is it's kind of like going back to this to this one because you're going to multiply ten, the denominators. So 100 times 10 equals 1,000, right? So, sorry, it's kind of sloppy, but, okay. And then 4 thousandths. Okay, so now that we've got all of, the all of the multiplication done. Now we're going to do the same thing as over here. Now we're going to do the same thing as over here in A. We're going to add all of this up. So six. Oh, and we need to convert these into. Sorry, we need to con first. We need to convert these into into decimals again. So that one will become. 0 0.6, because 6 tenths, and then this one will become 0 0.24, because it's 2 tenths and 4 hundredths, well, 24 hundredths, and then this one will become 0 0.01, and this one will become 0. 0, 0, 4. Sorry, you can't really see that, but... Okay, 0, 0.004. 0, 0, okay. And then... This... Yeah. And then this one will just become 0, 0.1. Okay, now let's add them up. Okay, sorry. Okay, six plus six plus because we've got that one done. Check six plus zero point six plus that one's done. Zero point two four plus that one's done. Plus zero point one. That one's done. Plus, sorry, I'm running out of room. 0 0.01. That one's done. And then this one, plus 0 0.004. Okay, now that we have that done, we can just add it up. 6 plus 0 0.6 is 6.6. .6 plus 0 0.24 is 6.84, plus 0 0.1, 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 6.84, plus 0 0
six point nine four plus zero point zero one zero uh, that's sorry that's six point uh, nine five plus zero four plus four thousandths and that is six point six point nine five four so our total our grand answer for b is six or sorry not six my bad is nine point sorry yes it is six my bad six point nine five four so I hope this cleared up this question for you sorry if it's a little confusing and messy but I hope you enjoy it thanks bye